This video forms part of a larger series of videos which walks you through how to use Zotero to manage your library and your references in Microsoft Word. Links to the rest of the videos in the series are pasted in the description below. In this video, I'm going to show you how to annotate any PDF documents you might have added to your Mendeley library. In an earlier video, I opened up one of my PDFs. So there's already a tab open for it at the top here. If you are using Zotero, not just as a reference manager, but also to organize your files, then annotating documents becomes very useful. Once you've opened up your document, you'll see that there are buttons which will allow you to annotate your document. The first item you have here is a highlighter tool. This basically allows you to highlight text. If you want to change the color, you can change it over here and that will change the color of the highlights. It's important to note here that Zotero must be able to detect where the text is. So if you, for instance, have a scanned document, you might not be able to highlight the text as I've just done. Instead, what you would want to do if you have a scanned text is that you'll use the select area option and that basically allows you to draw shapes around your text. Another thing that you can do here is to add notes. You can add notes wherever you want in your document. There's another way to add notes to your document. You can go up here to the right hand side and click on the notepad. This will allow you to add item notes, but it'll also show you all the notes you have in Zotero. So you might remember that in the video where I showed you how to add items to Zotero, we added this field work note as a standalone note. So it exists in Zotero, but it doesn't belong to any particular reference. If I want to add a note that belongs exclusively to this particular item, this document, I can also add it here. If I want to create a list of notes from the annotations that I've made, so the highlights that I've made, and the note that I've added in the actual PDF, I can click on this again and say add item note from annotations. And what this will do is it'll basically show me the text that I've highlighted and it'll also give me the reference for that text. So the page number that it found this highlight on. It also gives me the text that I've selected. So if you didn't use the highlights, for instance, and you use the select area, that also comes up and then it also shows the single note that I added on that same page. This is really useful when you are reading your documents. Um, you can also do this on a tablet if you have the Zotero app. That's what I do. And what that then does is it syncs the highlights back to this desktop app um, where I'm then able to access them when I'm ready to actually do my writing. This is also useful if you want to add a direct quote into your text. You can then just copy and paste the text that comes from the annotations. In the next video, we're going to move to our Word document where we'll actually add references to our document.